John Moran and the Memphis Grizzlies got the second best record out west. They're in Phoenix to take on the Suns. So these two teams faced off like a little over a month ago. There was no Paul and Booker in that game, and Memphis just really put it on Phoenix. I feel like Chris Paul remembered that game. He went off in the first quarter. How about 15 points in the opening frame for old reliable CP3? The Suns are up big already. Mikel Bridges getting to his spot and showing you that he's got a wicked jump shot. Bridges had 24 points. Back to old reliable. This is a nasty dime by the vet. Chris Paul between the legs to Big Mac Biombo. Suns up a bunch. It's a 24-point game here in the third when John ja Moran and Memphis decide to wake up. They got a lot of momentum from this three right here to beat the third quarter buzzer. A legit full court heave from Zaire Williams. He knocks it down. Memphis down just 15. All things considered, not too bad for a team that was down 20 plus. Desmond Bain in the fourth with the deuce. Memphis within striking distance with two minutes to play. Cam Johnson, a big time juice plus the foul to give the Suns a little bit of distance. It's a nine point game, 100 seconds to go. Dylan Brooks, a three point in response of his own. Desmond Bain inside, it's a two point game. Suns off the inbound. Cam Johnson gets trapped by Brooks and Steven Adams, and Memphis almost forces the turnover. Steven Adams actually injures himself on the play. Say what you want about Steven Adams. He's going to earn every cent he makes in NBA money. Just going out for the rock. Had no business falling to the ground like that at his size. But he'd do it for a win, a comeback victory that would have been one for the ages for this really good Grizzlies team. It is going to cost him some time, though. Oh, man, that had to hurt. Adams goes down just like the Grizzlies do in a two-point defeat to the Phoenix Suns, 112-110. And that play right there is what will keep Steven Adams out of the lineup for Memphis for three to five weeks, sprain PCL. Absolutely a bummer of an injury for Steven Adams, who's been playing very effective basketball for a Grizzlies team that's really, really good. I don't think Memphis as a, as a team will struggle a lot for this stretch because they're really good. Also, keep in mind, there's about a week or so for All-Star mixed in with there. So Steven Adams will probably be ready to go around March. But uh, I just hate seeing guys get hurt hustling. You know what I mean? That's why I hate seeing people take money losses when they work in their jobs, right? Or, or things happen into their car when they're trying to get to work. I hate seeing people get injured on the job like Steven Adams just got injured on the job. I hate that, man. I really, really hate that. He was going hard for that rock. He was trying to give the Grizzlies a shot. It was going to be a half-court shot at that. But he was trying to give Memphis a chance to win that game. And for him, unfortunately, his hustle – We'll keep him out three to five weeks. Too big of a guy to be falling down like that. Nope. Nope. Hey, hey, hey it's a random game in January, Steven. Love the effort. You got to let that one go, big dog. You too big to be doing all that, man. Nah, bro. Nope, nope, nope. Them knees said, uh-uh. Nope. You, you, you're going home with two L's. You, 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 uh, a sprained PCL and an L from the Suns. <laughs> Hope you get well soon, big dog.